Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Skin. I know I'm looking a little bit different today, but I wanted to do something with the Celestial palette from Pat McGrath. And I wanted to do something creative and see if we can create a Halloween look that's wearable. So this is the look I came up with. I'm going to do some in-depth swatches of this palette and I'm going to talk to you about the new shades. Also, I just, I don't know what this look is called. Maybe it's the makeup artist who didn't know when to stop. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so everything that I've used is this eyeshadow palette and the lip colour I will reveal to you in a little while. So if you want to see how I got this look, and it's basically just a graduated makeup effect. Just a little close up for you. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So guys, as I said, we're going to try and create a different look with the Pat McGrath Celestial Palette. I'm going to try and do Borderline Glam and Halloween. So let's see where this takes us. So here is the palette. I will try and focus on the new shades. So let's just go ahead and start applying. So I'm definitely going to take some of this really nice pink shade here and start popping that in the crease. We're taking the Wayne Goss Small, the Artist Small. I'm going to take this shade here, this brown one at the top, and I'm going to try and create some depth. And I'm going to start going in the inner corner because this is going to be sort of a grunge glam. Well, that's what I'm aiming for. I've already done some heavy contour, which can get heavier. I just wanted a starting point. Start pull that out a little bit. This colour looks super interesting. Might try a bit of that. Before I try that colour, I'm just going to use some of this colour here, just on the outer edge. Just going to put some concealer on the lids to try and make the colour pop more. This is a new colour, so let's see what that does. Not bad at all, guys. So let's soften all this up a little bit and blend them together. So I think the colour, the brown and green, is perfect for Halloween. But we're going to amp this up, don't worry. Now let's take this purple, this new purple. Extend that a little bit. Soften the edges of that. Take some gold.
So now we need to clean up the under eye. So what I like to do is get some moisturizer. Just tap it off the skin with the moisturizer. It's such a great tip. It removes all the fallout and doesn't ruin your base. So with these kind of looks, don't worry too much because the eyeliner and everything brings them together. Just blend. And don't worry about this section. We want that like that for Halloween. So guys, I've put liner on in my lid line and in my waterline. Let's go ahead and add more purple and really like smoke it out. You can even start bringing it in here. Because the whole point is it's not supposed to look so precise. What you can do is take some of this shade, this gorgeous red shade, and just put it under here. Can you see the gradient effect that that's giving? kind of have to wait for it to turn into something, you know? I can't wait to use this red on its own. So let's do some lashes, curl and use Pat McGrath's amazing mascara. So guys, let's do some contouring. I'm going to use my Dior Backstage Contour Palette. And we're just going to really work it into one section. I haven't decided what to call this look yet, so. So I think we should put on some highlights and then let's do lips. I was thinking a really deep lip and I've got a velvet colour from um, Lisa Eldridge. And let's mix the two together at the top. Okay, so let's do lips. I've got some of my favourite lip colours here. These are the ones I'm going to choose from. Wow, it's Velvet Midnight. That's exactly the colour I wanted to use. I'm just going to take some brown eyeliner and neatly map out the most sharpest points of my lips. Even like that's quite fun if you were doing a, a nod to like, is it the 20s? They used to have it like that. So let's take a brush. And smudge this out. Because it doesn't need to be super perfect for the fact that is a Halloween look. I've got my Lisa Eldridge video coming. A lot of people have asked to see my current collection so I'll do that ASAP. I'm just waiting on one item for the luxury giveaway and that's what the delay is guys. I do apologise. So I'm just adding 
layers. Now for some fun on my lips, let's put some of the Pat McGrath Gorgeous Purple on. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Let's add a bit more under here. You can always go back and add more. You do need to know, however, when to stop. So. so guys, let's go ahead and swatch the Celestial palette. So I'll just put on the screen which ones are the new shades. This 18 pan palette. There are colours that you guys have already seen. I'm going from left to right across the top row. There are just so many looks that you can do with this palette. I wanted to just do something random, something quick for Halloween. A big tip I can give you now, especially with this colour being the one I have on my lips, is to pick a lipstick and put the eyeshadow on top of it. That will make it really fun, even if that's all you did. So you did some normal winged liner and then put an eyeshadow on top. So now for the last row. Some of you Pat McGrath connoisseurs out there will know what palettes these are from. Wow, that's nice. That's a new one. This is a new one. I really wanted to use this colour. Comment down below if you want me to do more Halloween looks. So guys, this is the final look. Um, it's basically just a graduated um, effect, just using a large brush, which is fluffy. And then just taking the red at the bottom and just really blending it out. You can go sort of for the clown effect and things like that. Um, there's lots of things that we can do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm just waiting on one product to come for the giveaway and I'll be filming that for you next week. It's a bit of a big deal and a bit of a surprise for you guys. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please tag me on my Instagram and let me know if you've created any Halloween looks with this palette. I would like to do some glam looks with this as well. Please let me know in the comments below. This video was absolutely inspired by one of my friends in the makeup artist industry. I will put her link down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.